Hey guys, Computer Stuff 111 here, also known as TechMac 911, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the latest version of Ubuntu. Right now, the latest version is 10.10. .10. So go ahead and open up your web browser. Once you're there, you're going to want to go to Ubuntu, well, caps, dot com. Once you're here, just show this page. Now, this is where you need to decide what computer you have. You either have a netbook or a desktop. The desktop version also works for laptops. That's just for netbooks, which is a slimmed down version of Ubuntu designed to run on only netbooks. So I have a desktop. Go ahead and click download. Once you're here, you have a lot of different options. You can download it. Download whichever one you want. I'm going to get the latest one. Now you have to uh, find out what uh, what your computer is capable of if it's 32-bit or 64-bit. So what you want to do is, I already know mine is 64-bit. Uh, I'm running on it right now. You just go to properties on your computer. I have a 64-bit operating system. So go ahead and download <coughs> whichever version you want. Or you also have the option to burn your own c er, create a USB drive. So you can do that if you want and boot off of a USB stick. This version we will be burning to a CD. Let's go ahead and download. Now the time will vary depending on your internet connection speed. I have a very fast um, internet connection speed. So it'll be done here in just a second yours might take longer so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this until it's done I will see you guys in a minute okay guys I am back uh, the video took about five minutes to download if not uh, a little bit less and I told you guys before that I have a very fast internet connection and that's why it's, it was so fast for me to download so don't like freak out like oh my god this download is taking forever so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys <clears throat> and that is my download speed so as you can see that's almost 30 meg megabits per second which is pretty fast upload speed is decent two point eleven so yeah that's with charter high speed internet anyways getting back to here once it's downloading done uh... it'll save in a dot iso format now to be able to burn that if you have windows seven it comes with a built-in burner so all you have to do is double click it and put a blank cd in your drive go ahead and hit burn this has been Computer Stuff 101, also known as TechMac 911, and hope you guys uh, like this video. If you want to not use this program built into Windows 7, or if you have a different um, operating system than Windows 7 that does not have a built-in burner, uh, go ahead and check out my other videos on how to uh, burn a .iso file. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out.